welcome back to my channel. This is Stephanie Glitzy Jump. Thank you for watching. For those who are new to my channel, please subscribe. The notification bell. Also, give my video a thumbs up because it helps out my channel. Today's video, we're going to go ahead and do my Wacky Eyeshadow Wednesday. It's a two channel collab with Susan's Just Making It and myself. And we're going to create a look using uh, this Be Bella Life in Pastel eyeshadow palette. If you haven't seen my Mask Monday, I'll go ahead and put it up here so you can watch it. Um, so that way you can watch the video. Because in that video, in my Mask Monday videos, when, where I swatched the palette and you, you were able to see all the pretty colors that were in this palette. I really did love the palette. I love the way the formula swatched onto my, onto my arm. And to remind you of how the palette looks like, it's like this. So we can always take the sheet off because I'm going to use it anyway. So that's how the palette looks like. It is so beautiful. And I'm so glad that um, I'm, getting to, I'm getting to play with this palette now. So I really do appreciate that. Susan requested for us to do this palette, by the way. Uh, well, actually, I requested, I had asked, you know, if she wanted us to do this one. And she said, yes, you know, that we can we can do the, the Life in Pastels one. So we, we're going to go ahead and create a look with this and see what outcome we get out of it. So here we go. Give me a second while I get my gather my thoughts and what color story I would like to go with and... I'd like how what color what colors I want to use for my eye look okay give me just this one second all right so I'm back and so I did one of my eyes um, I was just inspired to just start you know using colors and creating this look um, so let's go ahead and get started on the other lot on the other eye so what I did is I went ahead and I used up this pink here there's no shade name it's just a pink shade and um, I do gotta say that the swatches did come out better than applying it with the brush, and I did notice that when you wet the with, when you wet the brush, the color gets more intense, but it still doesn't give you that umph, you know, that you usually get whenever you wet the on some of the colors. Because I know there's one shade that looks like a glitter shade. That one did give me more umph than the other colors when when I wet them. So, the rest of the other colors that are like matte shades uh, or shimmer shades, even the shimmers didn't give me that much oomph when I wet the brush and applied it onto my eyeball, <laughs> onto my eyelid. So, that's that. Um, like I, um, I haven't tried any of the other ones as far as like, I know this... I'll tell you what, I haven't tried this purple here, but I know this purple here would give me the umph because it, it looks very pigmented in the palette. And it's almost a shame it's almost the same formula as this one right next to it and the one right next to that. So those do give me uh pigmentation, but on all these other ones, like this pink one I'm just using, um, it takes time to build up, which is fine. I'm not saying this is a bad like this is a bad palette or it's not a good palette. I'm just saying it's not my, it's not one of my favorites. And, um, you know, I'm not saying I wouldn't buy it or anything or I wouldn't use it again. I'd use this palette again. It's just not one of my favorites. And, um, it just takes time for you to build up the shade. So that's what I noticed about these, uh, the formula of this palette. Then I went ahead and I used this shade here, this purple one. You know what they do have names this pink one is called pink punch so i i use pink punch in the green in the crease and i'm gonna use the shade fairy which is like a purple shade here we use fairy and i'm gonna go ahead and just make put that in the mix with the pink one with the pink punch put it in the mix there mm. It's still a pretty palette. I love this palette. Um, it's still a pretty palette. Well, I say I love the color story. I should say I love the color story, but the performance of the powders not being very pigmented is not there. I'm just giving my my honest opinion. Um, on my opinion, you know, that's how I feel about the shades. But it does take some time to build up. But it's, it's okay. It's a nice palette. I like it. It's not. It's not anything that it's. You know that will put me off or anything like that the next shade I'll go in with is 
aquamarine, which is this one here in the corner. And I'll put that here on the side. But yeah, if you haven't seen the swatches, I read, I'd recommend you to watch my Mask Monday. <clears throat> you will see the swatches on that one. It is, they're amazing. They're stunning. I love the swatches on these, on this palette. So I do recommend you watching that. If, if you do go pass by there, just check it out. Check the swatches out and see what I'm talking about. But it's not a bad palette after all. Uh, like bad to where like I said I'm put off or I wouldn't use again it's just not one of my favorites it's not my the best palette I've used before and that's fine um you're gonna get some palettes like that I went ahead and I used Aura Aura or Aura yeah that's what it's called Aura this teal also on the outside and that out on the outside as well Go back in with some more of the fairy shade, which is a purple shade. I do feel like it lost a little bit of its of its um of its color. <laughs> and I'm gonna go up, go back in with the pink as well because I do feel like that one also lost some of its color. I think I might have gone a little heavy-handed on this side of my eye, then my right eye, which is fine. Go ahead and use this um, shade called Plushy for above the crease. So right here above the crease, almost by the brow bone area. That's what I'll use, Plushy. Oh, you do get fallout. Well, you don't get that much fallout in this one, but um, it is kind of like the powders are very... Uh, I want to say talk. I say my word is talk many, but it's more more like they're very soft, like talk um kind of um. It's like a talk um feeling, like a like a baby powder type of uh, loose powder that you know that the pen gives off. So I'm not too fond of that either, but it's okay. It's you know for the price point, it's a good it's a good palette. It's just the quality and the performance of it. Just it's not what it's not my favorite. So, but it's all right because everybody everybody has their own preferences or differences in what they do and they don't like. Whatever floats your boat is you know. What I say is, uh, everybody has their own preference type of eyeshadow quality, eyeshadow, um, eyeshadow preference, you know, so. All right, I'm going to go ahead and wet my brush because I'm going to start going into the more intense shades here, which is, I'm going to go ahead and use this gold one here, which is called, it's a yellow one, uh, She's Magical. I'm going to use that for the inner corner and the third of my crease with this. And even then, like if you can see what I'm talking about, there's not too much pigment even after wetting it. It should give you some kind of like bright shimmer for on well I shouldn't say sh it should in this palette because like I said not all palettes perform the same so I'm used to it being more pigmented 
than what it's given me with this than what this palette is giving me like i said the swatches were beautiful Okay, the next shade I will use okay. is going to be, well, I love this shade here. This shade is called Starry. It's really nice, nice highlight. Now we'll go ahead and use that next to the yellow. Sorry, yeah, I'm not sorry for the lighting. It's just I'm not sure what my lighting situation is right now. Why it's not giving me the best lighting in here. Maybe y'all can't. Maybe it is. I'm not sure <laughs> what's going on with my with my lighting situation. So I just hope you're able to see the look that I create. I'm gonna do an up close. Vert. I'm gonna get you up close as well once I finish the look before I get off, before I come off camera and put the rest of my makeup on. Okay. All right. The next shade I, by, by accident, I used this shade called Lucky Charm by accident. I didn't mean to grab that shade wet and with a wet brush, but I did. This is the one that gave me the most pigment while wet. Let me show you what I'm talking about like bam right there bam wham bam pigment right there <laughs> and what that's I believe that's the only shade that I feel like gave me the performance I expected you know how shadows the formula of a shadow should give you that it was so overwhelming that I had to kind of like diffuse it with my with my brush and then also add a more lighter shade on top of that to kind of, uh, it was just like so, oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, my, my camera's going to go in and out of focus for some reason. Um, I think it's just the way I'm positioned. Okay. But this is such a beautiful color, beautiful shade. But I did cover it up with another another color than this whereas I had diffused it first to make it a little lighter to go to kind of go cohesively with the rest of the, the the colors on my lid so I used so without wetting it without wetting the brush I went ahead and I used this shade called moonlight which is this light toned green here and I did go over go over that blue with this and it gave it gave it more of a shimmer than a than a glitter effect onto the lid and then I went ahead and I used again some more of that um, starry shade which is like the that white highlight that I used the starry shade here I went ahead and I put that again over just just to kind of cross over that shade at the end of that shade towards this way okay go ahead and go in Go over the yellow with it. I believe the yellow also kind of is kind of went a little over on this side. Kind of went over yonder this way. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and um, apply some of this starry shade over some of that yellow. All right. The last thing I did was with my finger. I went ahead and I tapped my finger in the shade called blossom which is this glitter shade this is just the typical pink glitter 
mixed with some it's mixed with some like I think it also has like hints of like blues and teals and it's also pink so I'm gonna put that over the whole lid even up above where my crease is my eyebrow bone just to give me some glitter to my look Okay, and once I did that, I used this shade here, this blue shade, for the bottom lash line. Even though this palette is more like a summer palette or spring palette, I feel like summer's still here. I feel like it's very hot humid and i feel like summer is still here even though we're already going into the into the autumn this looks more like a more spring springtime palette or you know so but i still feel like it's fitting because because of it's still summer outside we're here down in the south it still hasn't None of, the, none of the leaves on the trees have fallen or anything like that. So it still feels like summer here. All right. Then I went ahead and I used my Illuminati gel paint in the shade Electric Blue for my bottom waterline. All right, and then I use my gel eyeliner in the shade purple for the top lash line. So this is the finishing look so far with the palette, but not finishing look as far as my eye look and I still got to put on my base. So this palette is a beautiful color story. I do love the shade and the colors in this palette. I do love that. I got to say. <laughs> All right. So um, let me come off camera. Let me just get up close so I can show you how this looks like. Okay, so I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. I went ahead and I put on some earrings. Uh, my nails are going, they're matching <laughs> with the glitter. And um, I put some foundation on, blush, contour, lipstick, lip gloss, uh, eyeliner, lashes. So here's the finishing look up close. I hope you guys enjoyed this look that I created with this palette. I did love the color story of this palette and I would use it again I do gotta say that um, but yeah that's everything I hope you enjoyed my video I don't know I just feel like this is more like a rainbow type of pastel just I just kind of just splattered all the colors on my lids but this is a wacky eyeshadow Wednesday so this is a wacky eyeshadow look for you guys this is the perfect channel for you to come and watch us uh, me and uh, me and Susan create looks with Susan does more of um sometimes she can go bold and then but most of the time she does more natural uh kind of looks you know um doesn't go too off the too too far to the too far off to the deep end i tend to kind of you know tone it down a little but sometimes my eye look just looking at the colors i get carried away and so i tend to kind of go a little over overboard but it's because I just love color I love makeup I love eyeshadow and this is the reason why my looks turn out so bold and dramatic or just colorful that's just that's just me that's my personality and I'll see you in my next video uh, please share this video and also give it a like if you like this video and thank you for
for supporting our channels and watching us and watching our videos and um, subscribing to our channels. Thank you. appreciate it. You have a good day. Mwah.